Taurus and welcome to February 2018 and this year February is going to be for you well it's always for you always about there's always that focus on um, your career the Sun's in your 10th house I'm gonna to try to do much more intuitive stuff though I'm gonna look at the astrology but I'm really gonna to try to tune in to your energy a bit more and feel what's going on so there'll be a bit of both a bit of everything and some cards as well. So first of all, you're going to be really wanting to get career right. You're going to be asking yourself some big questions about career, about legacy, about your message, about what you're here to do in the world, about whether you're still on track, whether it's it's it needs uh, some nuanced adjustments or whether you just need to just do something completely different. You're going to be really wanting to make it work, that particular area of your life, because this is a very powerful time. And that very powerful eclipse is going to make sure that you have to release any worries that you're feeling, any jitters that you're experiencing in your body, any nervousness or anxiety about... Um, whether you know whether you're doing the right thing whether it's going to work out the ups and downs whether you can go with them you've been this way before you've been through all of this before it's going to be okay but there is change on the horizon and it's the kind of change that will allow you to take better care of yourself and that will allow you to trust your path much more so there will be changes that you feel within you, you feel the rightness within you, there will be much more, you, you are going to begin to get ideas and inspirations that will allow you to tweak things to make them feel much more in alignment with who you know and feel yourself to be again. It's going to be like a bit of a homecoming and then that's going to help you to get rid of some of the nervousness. So, because I feel, I feel anxiety with this and it just feels as if that anxiety is just a little bit of, um, not mistrust of it, but just something, something there where, you know, some kind of worry about whether it's right, knowing it's going through a transition or it's about to, or it needs to, and trusting that that's going to be okay. Releasing any kind of, um, insecurities that you feel, releasing any concerns that you might have about home, about your uh, emotional stability, about, you know, where am I going next, who am I, what am I doing, you know, am I going to be okay, that kind of, kind of feeling. And just trusting, trusting the way that you can, because you know you're a great manifester. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to have a look at the first, second, third and fourth week. And I'm just, just asking, what does Taurus most need to know? Also, I'm, I'm kind of mentioning the love thing because people like to know about that um, at this time of year. And I'm going to say, because we've got that sun in 10th house um, focus, it is quite possible that if you're looking for love or if you're wanting to heal things in love, that there could be a healing that happens around your career or um, someone who's involved in your career or meeting someone um, in, you know, on the path of your career or something to do with that because um, you are actually feeling that you want to make career your focus at the moment. So it's quite likely that with so much energy and the sun shining on that part of your life, that that's where uh, some something loving and lovely could happen as well. So let's look. First week, second week, the third and fourth. And let's do angel cards as well. So what does Taurus need to know? about February 2018. Okay, so the first week, the, the week that we're just in now, heartache and loss and clear your space. Now, this these tarot cards, are, <laughs> this is why I like to do oracle cards with the tarot cards as well, because they will often give you a much more gentle understanding and clarify things so 
And this isn't to say that something awful is going to happen. We're not doing that sort of predictive, awful thing that becomes a self-fulfilling thing here. It could just be that you are mourning something or someone from the past, or it's that feeling of anxiety, that slight feeling of, of worry um, about where you're going, what you're doing. And, um, and obviously that's not going to apply to all Taurians, but it feels as if there is some kind of a tremor as you go into February um, within you. And that's, that's okay because we're right on top of that now. You might already be feeling that influence where it's like, oh gosh, okay, something needs to change. Something needs to change. I kind of feel I know what it is or I might know what it is and um, am I ready for it? And the card that comes with it, the Oracle card, is clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you and use feng shui. That can be literal. That can quite honestly just be pack things up in boxes, clear your space, um, you know, give some things away that are attached to an old energy maybe, um, an energy of loss, an energy of worry or even a recent heartbreak or a heartbreak just going back a couple of years two three years whatever four is the most it feels quite fresh quite new and um anything that's in your space any uh, any longing or any yearning or anywhere that stuff from the past just keeps coming up or it's it's coming up now and you're feeling like oh it's going to spoil things or it's just getting in the way and I don't need to be focusing on that right now I need to be focusing on moving my life ahead my legacy my career ahead um, anywhere that you've got that sense there's an energetic thing happening there so if you clear all the stuff in your home in your space in your environment in your thoughts even in your emotions that are connected with that time going back it will really help you and that could be a really good and powerful way for you to spend that first week of February just clearing the decks for the rest of the month and potentially for the rest of 2018 there's something there Taurus that just needs you need to just take one more backward glance at it and then just clear it out completely and just say right onward now whatever happens I'm moving forward because it does feel as if there could be an emotional thing that's blocking you stopping you or preventing you from focusing entirely or feeling that sense of security that sense of strength that sense of power that inner power that you usually use to drive you ahead because you're very much in the body very physical being an earth sign being being a very determined earth sign it's like you know just see a picture of the bull you know sort of doing that thing with its hoof when it's preparing to gallop forward and it's as if you know there's that 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 hoof's looking a little bit less powerful at the moment and you just need to clear that space and step in that and then you'll be ready to charge. You're not quite ready to charge yet, but you're getting there. So first week of February is about clearing the decks. The second week, lovely, a nice celebration coming in or at the very least, friends coming around, a good energy coming around you. Um, it, there could be a birthday, there could be some sort of celebration, even a wedding or something that brings people together. Or it could just be that you're feeling, okay, you've put this behind you now, or you've decided that you're gonna put it behind you and you decide that you wanna have people around you. You've got comfort as well. So it could be a celebration in your home, home comforts. Um, you know, Taurians love that, that home comforty thing. That um, Not in the same way as Cancerians, but that sense of being able to indulge yourself and get into the deep self-care. But the card says, um, I'm with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. That's Archangel Azrael. So that's again another um, affirmation of that possibility that you're just looking back over the past and thinking, oh, what if, you know, you know, did I do the right thing? Was it okay? Was it was it me? Was it them? Was it, you know, oh, all that stuff. Um, you come into a much better space in the second week and I hope that you'll be able to feel that comfort that you get from the angels and that in having friends around you or having lightness around you or maybe even a bit of a celebration that you'll start to feel that a bit of an uplift again. Now, I am remembering that this is about career, but these are all the things that you're needing. It's like, it's as if February is like a pivot month for you. January may have been, been quite slow actually, but it's as if you redirect yourself in February and then by the time you get to the end of February, you're like, okay, that's 
great. I've really cleared the decks and I've set the scene for the year ahead. So uh, that's not all you'll be doing by any means, but this is absolutely essential in order for you to go ahead in a really productive, amazing way. You've got two threes there, I'm just noticing, so that's really interesting. So for a lot of you, it will be stuff that's happened over the past three years or so, Spirit is saying to me, the past three years, that you are going to be clearing and walking away from and, and moving into a nicer energy um, with. Okay, so lovely third week. Fantastic. Third week has you looking outward again, has you forward thinking again, and you've got 21, which is another three, which is, you know, really amazing. Um, but this is really a much more a card that says yes to what you're planning, to what you're thinking, to the changes that you're thinking of making, to, you know, it might be that you've decided, like with all of this, you might have decided that you're going to move to a new office or something like that. It's like the, the combination of things would clear your space there and, you know, the change, the stuff you want to leave behind and the, the coming together, the celebration and the comfort, the new sense of security. You could almost be moving uh, spaces or moving to a, a different work environment or or something like that or it could just be a new set of ideas and you breathe and you allow yourself to open up and embrace that okay now the year can really begin now I'm ready now I'm ready okay so that looks really good the end of a cycle the beginning of a new cycle and that's Archangel Raphael's card and it's saying take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns so for some it will be an old connection and all the heartbreak and for many it will also be the patterns that keep bringing a similar energy back again and again and again and you saying with this eclipse once and for all that energy is dead to me now. That is gone. That is gone. It's just gone. I'm not, I don't have to do that anymore. And if you are seeing a repeat of any of those patterns, breathe, <laughs> reaffirm and recommit to releasing it and letting it go, healing it within you and, you know, take a deep breath and do whatever you need to do to really step into um, that, all these new possibilities. And then by the time you get to the end of February, there is harmony again. There is harmony. So if this has been to do with a relationship, a new, a new relationship where you've thought, oh, this is just like something that happened in the past. It could be that when you get to the end of the month, you start to realise that actually, no, it's not quite the same. I'm just still a bit nervous about that. In terms of career, if that doesn't apply to you about the whole relationship thing, releasing the past hurts, all of that might still apply to you um, in other areas. Disappointments over business, disappointments over um, partnerships, uh, business partnerships in the past, letting those go, trusting that you are opening up to new patterns now, um, trusting yourself, uh, trusting yourself to make career work and to have the right people around you and that you're going to be okay whatever happens, that there are enough people who love you and who, are, who have your well-being at heart and who will support you, come rain or come shine, shine no matter what, that it's going to be okay and that when it comes down to it, you are a leader and that's what will pull you through time and time again. So you've got the leadership card here and it says, um, it's Archangel Gabriel's card, it says it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So take up that mantle and it, you know, to get that in a reading where, you know, we've said at the beginning that your focus is on career and legacy is really, really powerful. So it really means that you are laying the groundwork a lot for the first part of the month and then towards the end, you are gonna really appreciate the people you have around you. Whether that's a partnership um, in business that helps you to grow um, and that's like a mutual, you know, a win-win, a give and take situation that feels really good or whether it is a relationship that makes you feel that you're you're safe and supported in going ahead, there's no one trying to block you or sabotage or undermine your efforts. You just feel a greater sense of support and of, okay, phew, those fears were unfounded and I'm okay, I'm going to be okay. And it, when it comes down to it, it is that leadership heart 
that pulls you forward and it allows you to feel strong enough within yourself to say well I have created this foundation I've created this legacy and if anything I'm sometimes allowing others in to support me I'm not caving in I'm not giving in I'm not giving myself up I'm not selling myself out I'm not giving up my emotional security or foundation or, or any of those things I'm just I'm, I'm taking care of myself now I'm taking care of myself with regard to the work I do how much I commit to it and commit to myself within it and how I set boundaries around allowing others to come and go within it or um, who I allow myself to to have around me so that I can continue to feel safe and secure within what I do regardless of who comes and goes and so anyone who comes into my life is um, like the cherry on top they are they don't become central to to what you're doing um, but trust yourself trust yourself Taurus it's going to be okay you're laying foundations for a different kind of you and so you're going to have to trust at some point that you have learned from the lessons in the past of the past and I'm being told to just pick an angel card from the top because it's a good one prioritize great Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you to get organised and motivated. That's Archangel Metatron, who's also very much taking care of karma, helping us to clear our karmic patterns, helping us to move on once and for all. It's a big year for that, for clearing away old karma, clearing the decks, clearing your space, moving on um, and saying no more. That's it. I've done that. I don't have to go around that wheel again. And so in terms of if you felt a little bit of a sluggish start and feeling like when am I going to get here and click into gear properly, um, you could perhaps start the month by thinking it through in your head and prioritising what you're going to do first um, in order to make a shift, a change, a create an upgrade, whatever it is. Really sit down and prioritise which tasks need to be done first. There may be days when you say, I'm only going to do this task today. It's a big task. I've procrastinated it long enough because I think it's going to take a long time. But that's only because I know I'm trying to fit in so many other things. If I just do this one thing tomorrow, then it will be done. So it's that sort of thinking. It's getting it straightened out in your mind and understanding that it is possible that everything is possible that there is time for everything and that as long as you trust yourself you are fully supported okay so in a sense uh, the person you really have to lead is yourself i'm so sorry if this has gone on it looks as if i didn't switch my timer on so if this is disproportionately long um, I hope everyone will understand. Thank you, Taurus. It's been great reading for you. Have a great February. Bye.